Hi there! I glad to see you on my channel. And today I invite you to crochet my cute, amazing two-layered flower. Each layer consists of six petals, so you can stop after first layer and you will get amazing cute small flower. You can put this flower to the head or scarf or it could be perfect to create hair clip. And the second step is the second layer of the flower. It is not difficult to make, so you don't need a lot of time. It could be perfect like a separate motif. It also could be a part of lace project, such as Irish or Gipur laces. For work, I will use 1.4 mm crochet hook. A ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn, 169 meters in 50 grams, and also a bead to the center of the flower. And I will use purple and white color of yarn. You can use your favorite color. Let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet the flower. Make a chain of 10. Let's count 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The ring is ready. Let's crochet round 1. Make 18 single crochet let's count them make a chain one and while making all stitches i remove my long piece of yarn two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen well done. I skip the chain stitch, insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Round one is done. You can cut off this long piece of yarn or you can leave it to sew a bit to the center of the flower. Let's crochet round two. It is going to be a round of petals. Let's crochet the base for the petals. Make a chain of two. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Make double crochet. Chain of two. I will use them later. I will crochet on this side, continue with this one. Yarn over the hook. Make six. Double crochet, not finish. I insert the hook like this. Make first one, two, three, four, five, six. I have done 
6 double crochet knot finish then yarn over pull through first loop then yarn over pull through two loops two three four five six i have got two loops on the hook i remove the hook turn the work i put my working yarn behind the work insert the hook into two loops now i'm working on this side yarn over the hook and make six double crochet knot finish let's count one two three four five six here what i have then yarn over pull through first loop pull through two loops two three four five and six i'm working the same way as on the opposite side i have got three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through all loops on the hook then chain of three one two three turn the work insert the hook into two chain space here they are make a slip stitch make a chain of six one two three four five six yarn over the hook i will look at my first petal now i need to join my chain space i skip two stitches insert the hook into the third stitch make double crochet not finish first one make the second double crochet into the same stitch not finish and pull through all loops on the hook so my cluster is ready then chain of two then work on this side continue working with the next one let's stop and look at the first petal here how it looks like so you should continue working by yourself in total it should be six petals then i will show you how to complete this round together i have done all six petals i chained the last chain space let's complete this round together i insert the hook into two chain space that i work it before make a slip stitch my round is ready this is the first layer of petals you can stop at this stage i straight up my petals you can also add a bit to the center for more beautiful look or continue working with me i'm going to do the second layer of petals and for example i have done exact flower but using white color of yarn here how it looks so in the ready example i am done the second layer of petals and as i told you before now i show you how to crochet the second layer of petals let's crochet the next round i continue working on my flower make a chain let's crochet one 
make six single crochet into the first chain space but instead of but next time instead of six single crochet i'm making five single crochet but now six single crochet two i am done six single crochet continue then i'm going to work with base for the next petal chain of two yarn over the hook twice insert the hook into the next chain space and make treble crochet then chain of two so i'm going to do the next layer of petals this is the first petal in the second layer yarn over the hook insert the hook into the chain make seven double crochet not finish one two three four five six and seven i have done seven double crochet not finish then yarn over pull through first loop then yarn over pull through two loops till the end of the loops two three four five six and seven i have got two loops on the hook remove the hook turn the work then i put my yarn behind the work and let's crochet the second half work with this half make seven double crochet not finish one two three four five six and seven well done then yarn over pull through first loop then yarn over pull through two loops till you will have three loops on the hook two three four five six seven pull through all loops on the hook now i have got three loops on the hook and pull through this is the top chain of three insert the hook into two chain space and make a slip stitch my first petal in the second layer is ready let's stop before i continue i straight up my petals let's look here what i have now i continue working on the next petal now i show you how to crochet the second petal i did a slip stitch make chain of four one two three four well done insert the hook into the chain space make five single crochet make five single crochet into the each of next chain space as i told you before one two three four and five well done i'm done five single crochet let's crochet the base for the next petal as i did before chain of two yarn over the hook make 
treble crochet, then chain of two, and so on. Then you should work on this side, continue with the opposite one. After that, make five single crochet into the chain space. Then I will show you how to complete this layer together. In total, it should be six of them. I have done five of them, and now I show you how to crochet the last one. And now I show you how to crochet the base for the last petal. As I did before, chain of two, yarn over the hook twice, and make treble crochet around the stitches. Then chain of two, and continue working with the last petal. I have done all of them, and I did four chain space to complete this round. They are five single crochet between each pair of petals. Let's count from this point one, two, three, four. This is the fifth top but in this case i did six of them this is the fifth stop one two three four five so make a slip stitch and to secure the yarn by making a chain my flower is ready So my second layer is done. So my project is ready. Here how they look like. Each flower has two layers of petals. Each layer has six petals. As you notice, I used the method how to not finish the double crochet stitch. I use this method very often, so you can see how to use this method in another projects. Also, you can use this method to create lace cord and another accessories for yourself. The link could be found in the description below the video. So let's look at these two examples. The first one is the current example that that I created with you, but for the white one, I put a bit to the center of the flower. Let's look at the white one. As I told you before, now I show you some tools that you can put to this flower to create hair clip or brush or another accessories. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. You can find a lot of links in the description of this video tutorial. See you in the next video tutorials and please write comment below the video where you will use my flower or my patterns and what you will get with my video tutorials. See you! Bye!